admit that on June 30th, 2018, and July 1st, 2018, you were alone with her for most of the day? Yes. All right. And you drove around with her for most of the day? Yes. All within Greene County, Missouri? Yes. And in fact, today, throughout this trial, you've listened to all the evidence? Yes, I have. And you reviewed the police reports? Yeah. And you reviewed the evidence? Yes. And you did all of that before you testified today? Yes, I have. Okay. So I just want to make sure I understand this timeline. You state that Jasmine got these injuries from a fall that occurred when you were leaving the, uh, the creek. Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. All right. And then uh, a second set of injuries occurred when she was climbing in the back seat without her seatbelt. Yes. And those were the two accidents that caused the injuries. Yes. Now, do you recall being interviewed by Jennifer Flood on July 1st of 2018? Yeah. Okay. And so you're interviewed by a detective at the Greene County Jail? Yes. All right. And your testimony today is that the accident occurred as you were leaving the creek. She ran ahead of you and fell down in that brush. Yes. Now, um, isn't it true that you told Jennifer Flood that she had had the accident on the way to the creek? No. That's not true. So you did not tell Jennifer Flood that in fact that as soon as you got there, you took off out of the van, you yelled at her to stop and wait for you, but as she neared the trail, she fell. No, that is not true. All right. So you deny telling that to Jennifer Flood? Yes, I do. All right. And then do you also deny then telling Jennifer Flood that um, when you were walking down to the creek, both of you slipped on the large rocks leading to the water? That is right. That happened after when we were leaving, not as we showed up. You slipped down into the water as you were leaving instead of showing up. That's where she fell down in the, at the embankment. That's what I said earlier. Okay. But that is not what you told Jennifer Flood. You told her that that happened as you were approaching the creek, that both of you slipped into the large rocks leading to the water. No, that's not what I told her. It's not what you told her. No, it ain't. All right. And that, um, that when she, do you also recall telling her that when you were floating in the water, she hit her head on some rocks? No, I did not recall telling her that. You did not tell her that either. I don't recall that. No. Okay. And so then finally, at that point, is that's when you tell her that Jasmine ran ahead of you and fell into some tall weeds on the side of the hill. That's that's what I said that happened. Yes, that did happen. All right. So I just want to make sure I'm correct. Did she fall into the creek or did she fall into the weeds? Which, which is it? That's right. The weeds are right there in the picture. They're right there in the creek along the side of the bank. Okay. The creek runs all the way up into it. All right, so you say that she fell into the creek and the weeds. Yeah, I didn't say she was completely submerged. Okay. Now, isn't it true that you actually told Jennifer Flood that you had to pull over to the side of the road to check on her? No, that is not true. You did not tell her those things? No, I did not. Okay. And your testimony today is, I want to make sure I understand this. So, you went to the creek, That's what's the first thing that you did that day after you took After I took we went down to the creek. Okay. And then from the creek you went where? We went to a buddy of mine's house. Okay. And then you went where? Then we got a phone call. My mom needed me to bring her some lunch. Okay. So and I had to go to her uh, her job at Joyce has a living. Okay. And that's when you had to leave? And then I left there, went back to go get her lunch. And that's when the accident, the accident occurred? Well, I was gone to get my mom's lunch, yes. Okay. And then you came back? Yes. All right. And then you went to... Where? Then I went to my buddy's house over off of Cedar Brook, or Cedar Brook. Then where? And then I went back to my buddy's house that I was at that morning. So now that's at the creek. Two buddies that you've been to, two separate buddies. Buddies. Yeah. Okay. Then where'd you go? And then I left from there over off of Cedar Brook to go back to the phone company because they called to let me know that the phone that they had had on mine was ready for me to pick up. Okay. And then where? And then. On the way there is when I ran out of gas to the pump company. And then? And you, then I was stuck down there at Brahms for a while. After I got picked up in Brahms by this Stephanie, uh, we went and got gas. Went to my buddy's house, picked up the gas can, went and got gas, brought me back, put gas in the van. And then from there, went to the pump company to take care of all that. And I left from there. I don't recall where exactly I left it or I went to after that. But I know I went to pick my mom up from work. I never did go back home. Okay. So you you're asserting that you never went home after you picked your mom up from work. Yes, I went. I showed back up at the house to pick up tools and a jacket. 
and then you, you're claiming that you left again. I can't leave again. All right, and then you're claiming then that Scott Nielsen met you at your shop? Scott Nielsen came and picked me up, yes. All right. And then after that, all right. So I just want to be clear. So you didn't go to the phone company until after Brahms? Uh, correct. All right. Do you recall telling Jennifer Flood that you were going, that you went to the phone company before you went to Brahms? I said that in my original statement that I went to the phone company uh, that morning or one during the morning, not that morning or the, yeah, the morning before that. Okay. I couldn't remember exactly which morning it was, but I know I went to the phone company. That's why they had the phone. Okay. And isn't it true that you also told Jennifer Flood that the reason why you went to go see your mother was because your mother was concerned that you were hitting on no, that is not true. Okay. And you did not tell Jennifer Flood that your mother called you and said, quote, I don't need no shit, don't be hitting on your daughter. No, my mom never did call me that. Okay. And then, so you deny then, do you also then deny that you told Jennifer Flood that you took to her, to your mother's work so she could check on so she could see her? No, Jennifer was with me after the accident and went to my mom's work, and that's what I told Jennifer Flood. And do you, you also claim that you did not allow, you spoke for Jennifer when Stephanie Montemayor was trying to talk to her? Yes, I did. Because she was a stranger? Yes. But you were comfortable enough to get into the van with her and allow her to take you and your daughter to uh, go get a gas can and get gas? Yeah. All right. And do you recall telling Jennifer Flood that uh, you, in fact, did talk to her? Do what? Do you recall telling Jennifer Flood that, in fact, was allowed to speak to Stephanie Montemayor. While I was out of the vehicle getting fuel, yes. Okay, so your answer is different now. You're now saying that I was allowed to speak to her. I wasn't in a vehicle, so if there was an opportunity that she could talk to her. Okay. But you told Jennifer Flood that she did, in fact, talk to her in your presence. She didn't, not in my presence. Okay. Now, you claim that while you were at Brahms, you were simply at gas? Yes. All right, you recall telling Jennifer Flood that actually she texting you and calling you to try to get you to return. From that morning when me and her got into the argument, yes. Okay. But that occurred at Brahms as well. No, that occurred during throughout that morning is what I told Jen, Detective Flood. Okay. You didn't tell her that at the time you were at Brahms, she was texting you and threatening to call the cops if you didn't return. Not when I was at Brahms, no. Okay. And she wanted you to come home with I She texted me that as I left with and that morning when we got into the argument. And you refused to bring her home? Yeah, to no. Cherie. I did. So, and I want to be clear, you then go pick up your mother from her job. And she's still with you. Correct. And that's when you decide to go exercise. You have her exercise or you exercise? Neither one of us was exercising. I just let her get out of the van so she wasn't sitting in the van waiting for my mom to get off work. Okay, so you denied. Do you, do you remember telling Jennifer Flood that you decided to go exercise by running in the park next I was, I was running over there on the track while my daughter was over there playing. While I was watching her. We, she was running, doing whatever. There's a playground and other thing over there, too. So you, do you also remember telling her that Jennifer was running with you? Yeah, at one point in time, did run with me a little bit, okay. but that was when I was telling you that we went to the side there where that track and everything is, and I was running back and forth from the fence to the other fence. All right, and so she was running with you? At one point in time, yeah, okay. and then she started playing on the playground stuff. That's when you're waiting to pick up your mother? Yes. At 10.30 at night? Yes. Okay, and at that point, you told Jennifer Flood that she was hit in the face with a tree limb. Yeah, as you can see in the pictures, there was the two little trees that was there. She said that she, the branch had hit her, but okay. I, it wasn't nothing to me that I was concerned with. Well, and in fact, though, you just told the jury that nothing happened, just normal kid stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't hit her with that, so, I mean, it's just, that's why I said normal kid stuff. She was running through there. It wasn't nothing. She wasn't pushed into the deal or none of that, so well, that's why I said normal kid stuff. She, but you actually told Jennifer Flood that she was climbing fences, and at some point over the fence was struck on her face by a limb. I never once said she climbed fences. You never you deny telling Jennifer Flood that she yes, climbed fences. Dear. Okay.
do you also recall telling Jennifer Flood that there was a tick embedded into her head and you had to pull out hair out of her head? I don't recall telling her that. Okay, so did you tell her that? Do you recall? I don't I mean, recall it. You don't recall it? No, I don't. You also recall telling Jennifer Flood that you were, in fact, frustrated with her that day? No, I don't recall telling Jennifer Flood that. Okay. Do you recall je telling Jennifer Flood that you were upset because uh, she wanted to go back with her mother? No, I did not. Okay. So you were not upset with her because she wanted to go back with her mother? No, she never told me she wanted to go back with her mother. Okay. And you also were upset with her. You also remember telling her that you were upset with her because she didn't appreciate you and the things you had done for her. No, that was never said. That was never said? No. Great. Now, you didn't tell Jennifer Flood about you going to your uh, what do you call it? You're, uh, the place where you, your shop. You didn't tell Jennifer Flood about going to your shop. Yes, I did tell her that. You told her you went to your shop. You told her about going to the yes, shop. Yes, she says that I told her I went to the gas station. That is not what I said. I told her that I was at my shop working when Scott came to pick me up. So you deny telling her that yes, you left your residence to go with Scott to the gas station prior to being pulled over. Yes, I deny that. Okay. So the only things that you claim today, at least, that you saw were the incident where she fell down um, after running away, after running, after you were done with the creek. Yes. Okay. And then the incident where you slammed on your brakes. Yes. And then finally, uh, only now on cross, the incident where she got hit in the face with the tree limb. Yeah. Now, isn't it true that that morning, the morning of June 30th, you, in addition to grounding Jennifer, also punished her by making her stand on her tippy toes? No, that's not true. All right, did you tell Jennifer Flood that, in fact, you did make her stand on her tippy toes with her arms raised and threatened to put tacks under her feet? No, I did not. You did not tell her that? No, I did not. Okay. And do you recall also telling Jennifer Flood that you were upset because you didn't think that Jasmine was being fair to you? No. And you, in fact, did have cuts on your hands when the police arrested you? Yes. Okay. And you, so I just want to be clear, you now claim that you see, you were seen every other weekend. Yeah, I've seen every other weekend. I had her throughout the week on some of the weeks when okay. she was doing what she wanted to do. Isn't it true that you told Jennifer Flood that you'd only met her eight to nine months prior to this incident? Yes. All right. So pr prior to July 1st of 2018, you'd only known, you'd only been in your life for eight to nine months. Around about that, yeah. Okay. And in fact, you told Jennifer Flood, do you recall telling Jennifer Flood that you'd only been, she'd only been with you three or four times in that eight or nine months? Right, on the weekends. Okay. So it's not really every other weekend. It was three or four times. From the time that I met my daughter, it was every other weekend and sometimes throughout the week. So every other weekend in an eight-month period to you is only three or four times? Would it matter if it was from the time she was born until the time that I first met her? Well, I'm trying to clarify. You can clear, I clarified that it was okay. the weekend or throughout sometimes through the week. So was it three or four times or every other weekend? Which is it? I said it was three or four times throughout the week or every other weekend. It's so, either or, it just depending on. So you, so when you told Jennifer Flood that you'd only seen her three or four times total in that eight or nine months, that wasn't true? I'm not understanding the question you're asking me. Did, isn't it true that you told Jennifer Flood you'd only seen her three or four times since you met her in 2017? <coughs> no. Okay. 
and you never sought any medical attention for. And my mom is working at her desk back, uh, not to the nurse or the hospital now. Okay, and you'd agree that uh, Stephanie Montemayor was concerned and thought that she should, that you should get medical attention. No, she never asked me for medical attention or asked me if I was taking my daughter to any kind of medical attention. All right, so you deny that she told you. Yes, I do. All right. Now, again, I just want to make sure I'm clear. You told, isn't it true that you also told Jennifer Flood that um, you actually left the house with Scott to get cigarettes? That is not true. Because it, do you recall telling her that um, you, you knew she wasn't there at the home because you were leaving the home with Scott? I told Jennifer Flood that I didn't see me there when I checked back up to the house to get the tools in the jack before I left to go work on the van. So, is your, so, to be clear, the photos that we've seen of when she went to the hospital, is that what she looked like when you saw her last? Not exact, no. So, better, something There's different? more marks on her than there was when I first, when I last left her. Now, isn't it also true that you told Jennifer Flood that sometimes you wanted to smack the shit out of Jennifer? No, that is a lie. Okay. So you are denying that that's what you told Yes, Jennifer. I'm denying that.